Okay, so let's take a look at the icon list widget. It's under the general section rather than under basic. So grab it, drag it on into the page, and you're going to get these three defaults to start with. Now, if you want to add more, it's really simple. Just use the add item button down here. That's going to add some more for you. You'll notice that it opens up like this. If you want it to collapse again, just click on it and it'll close down. The other way of creating more is by clicking the copy button. And if we click that, we get an exact copy of the one that I just clicked. But for now, I want to get rid of it, so I'll click the X. And the way that we edit what we have here, click on an item, that makes it expand like you just saw, and we can now add in a title. So for example, I enjoy making WordPress websites. And I can now choose an icon to go with this because a tick obviously doesn't go. So we can click down here. And this gives you a whole list from Font Awesome. Now you can upload your own. And if I just show you down here, you'll notice it says icon library or you can upload an SVG. WordPress really doesn't like you doing this. Uh, neither does Elementor for that matter. You can go into the settings uh, at the back end and tell it to allow uploading these, but the problem is it's a security risk. This type of file is a potential security risk, and I suggest that you don't. So if you can, just stick with the ones that uh, you have with Font Awesome. There are loads to choose from. They're really easy to search. So let's go with um, a laptop. There we go. So choose the icon, click Insert, and now that appears just up here. When you're done, collapse it by pressing again and go down to the next one. And I'll say that I studied sales and marketing. So let's choose an icon with that. Uh, let's go with learn, no, uh, university. There we go, that'll do. So we put that in and if you want, you can also add a link. So if you want somebody to be able to click any of these and it takes them to another page so they could learn some more, pop in the link there, you can do that. Let's do number three. Uh, I love the outdoors. Don't get out in it enough. But let's do trees. We knew they'd have that, didn't we? And let's do one more. So add an item, choose the title. Um, yeah. We have lots of pets. So let's choose a uh, dog. That's going to be the most easy, isn't it? You get the idea. So quite quickly, you can put your list together. When you've done that, you can start styling it up so it looks better. So coming up to style, we can increase the space that we have between all of these using this. So I'll put it to about 10, I think. We can then change the alignment. So at the moment, it's on the left. We can move it to the right or in the middle as well if we want to. But I'm going to leave it on the left for now for what I'm going to show you in just a moment. Uh, we can also add in a divider if we want, and you can increase the weight of that. And then you can choose the different styles, so dots or dashes, whatever you want. Leave it on solid for the second. Uh, we can also change the width, so how far you want that to come across the page. And of course, you can also change the color of it as well if you want to. But I don't want a divider, so I'm going to turn this off. And we can then change the icon a bit as well. So size is probably the first thing you're going to want to do, so it's a little bit easier to see. So I'll put that to around 30, and then we can change the color up here. So the first color is the one that you're going to see is standard. So if I change this to blue, you notice when I hover over it, nothing happens. But if we come up to the hover section, if I now choose, let's say, green, and we hover over that, and that's going to go green. And now you're going to notice again that it says alignment. Now this isn't talking about the whole thing, it's just about the icons. So you see this is right over on the left hand side. If I go to middle, it moves it over just a little bit and obviously right is gonna put it nearer that text. So I quite like it in the center. And then we can come down to the text section and now you have text indent. So we can move the text further away from the icons and then we can of course increase the size of the text as well. So that's under typography. If you're not sure how all of this works, just watch my video on Elementor Text Editor or Elementor Headings. They're part of this playlist and you'll be able to see exactly how to use all of these settings. And then once again, what we can do is choose our text color that we see here and also the hover color. So again, if I wanted this to be blue and green, I can do that. And then it's all just gonna change when we hover over it. But now if we wanted to make this look a bit better, we could add an image behind it. So come up here to our section settings. 
and then we can go over to style under background click on a classic background type and then come on down to choose an image I think we'll go with this one and it's quite good and then the first thing you're going to see is pretty much nothing because it's all far too zoomed in at the moment so what we want to do is come down to position make it center turn the repeat off and change the size to cover and then still under our section settings come up to layout and change the layout height to minimum height and we just increase this a bit maybe about 550 and that now means that we can see the image the only problem we now have is we can't clearly see the text so what I'm going to do is still under the section settings go back to style close down background and go into background overlay and now what you can do is add a background overlay type so I'm going to go for classic again and I'm just going to go for black but I'm going to bring the opacity down so just here under opacity reduce that a bit so it just creates a slight black overlay and then when we come back over here to our actual icon widget list using the pencil you can go back to style and I'm going to make the text go white could obviously do this as well with the um, icons if we wanted to but I'm going to leave those for now but I'm going to change the hover color for the text to sort of a gold I think there we go quite like that but what if you actually want to have two of these there's a couple of things you could do we could either just come up to our column section up here this little sort of gray square right click that and then go with duplicate we then get exactly the same list and obviously what you could do is come into this list now go into each one and change the titles and change the icons as you want so that you've got two individual lists but the slight problem with that is if we wanted to add a title to this we now can't do it because if I try and grab a heading it can only put it over one of these but I want the heading to be up here so what I'll do is actually delete this again I'll now grab my heading and I'm going to put it up here so it's going full width and I'll center it make it a little bit bigger and also make it white as well so we can see it and now back under the widget section just up here I'm going to grab an inner section and put this underneath the title and then I'm going to click and drag our icon list inside the inner section that I've just put there now if we duplicate our icon list and click and drag it over we've got our two columns with our main title stretching full width over the top if you want to learn more about that and how you can make multiple columns watch my video in this playlist about Elementor inner sections and I'm going to go into that in detail for you for now though this is starting to come together I just want to add some space here so I'm going to come back up grab a space a widget and put it underneath my title I'm then going to increase that 170 looks good and now let's take a look at the final result so this looks okay if we wanted we could of course center these up in the middle or we could create a third column if we want to as well or if we just wanted to centralize this a little bit what I can do is come over here and you see how my mouse has just changed there to the little arrows because I'm, I'm hovering over the center here of our uh, two columns I can click and drag and I can bring that this way and now when we take a look at it that's created a bit more space for me here while still keeping it lined up on the left of course all of that is actually making our list vertically the final thing that you can do and I'm just going to delete one of these for the moment so you can see this in full is come back over to our icon list and under content instead of having the layout set to the default setting if we change it to inline we now get it going across horizontally and if I close this down it's obviously not quite lining up correctly because it's too large to fit all on one line so we could make a decision here we could either increase the size so that we dropped this down and just had two on each line or I could bring the size back and get it all on the same line for us so if I just do that let's come down to text bring the indent back a little bit bring the typography down probably make it bold though and then we could do the same with our icon if we wanted to just drop the size down a little bit take a look oh and I should put it in the center that's the final thing so now just here under center that's moved it all over and when we take a look that's looking pretty good and it's a really good way to show off all the different features and benefits for whatever service it is that you're wanting to offer or just to tell people more about you like I am now
I think it gives a lot of variety for what you can actually do here and it's going to make your web page look a lot more interesting than just having all this hidden up here or something in some text. And it's really easy to switch between whether you're wanting it vertically or whether we just wanted to have this lined up over to the left and spanning a lot more of the page. It's really easy to do and only takes a few clicks. So have a play around, get it to look how you want and we can make something that looks really quite special. Once again, all with just a few clicks thanks to Elemental.